Hey guys, thanks so much for joining for another video. I've got a haul for you today. I went to two stores. I went to Aldi and to Trader Joe's. So you'll see all of those items that I picked up as well as prices. And then if you stick around to the end, I will be trying a few items in a taste test. So if you stick around, you'll be able to hear what I think. So thank you so much for joining me and I hope you like the video. Starting with the Aldi items, I got some more organic, organic cage-free eggs. I got some iceberg lettuce for sandwiches or salad. I have a Southwest chopped salad kit. I love this one. Um, their chopped salad kits are super good at Aldi. This is gonna be part of lunch today. I got another one of these artisanal um, style bread. It, we really enjoyed it. Both my husband and I really enjoyed this bread. So I got another one of those. I got a kombucha. The Pink Lady Apple is my favorite there and their prices are the best at Aldi for that brand. Some cream cheese, some whole milk plain yogurt. Uh, I still have some granola that I want to use for um, parfaits and whatnot. Um, so, and also my husband really likes eating plain yogurt. Um, plain bagels um, to go with that cream cheese. Uh, this was at my husband's request. I tend to go for the everything bagels, but I still have some in the freezer. I don't go through them as quickly as he does. But I did think that maybe I can make some breakfast sandwiches this week because I also got some bacon from Aldi. So I'm thinking maybe I'll cook some of that up and just have it on hand and then, um, you know, just make an egg in the morning and make a little sandwich with the bagel. So I thought that'd be yummy. I got some, I hope this is upside down, Yukon Gold um, potatoes. I am in charge of mashed potatoes for Thanksgiving. So I picked up those as well as two bags of sweet potatoes. I'm also in charge of sweet potatoes for Thanksgiving. So I'm going to make some plain roasted and then also um, a sweet potato casserole. These were literally 79 cents for the bag. 79 cents for the bag. Maybe it was 89. I could be lying. Very, very cheap. <laughs> I was very happy about that. I got some quick cooking rolled oats. I have um, the roll, like the regular rolled oats, but I need this for a recipe for tonight, actually, which you would have already seen from last week's video. I got some more whole milk for my husband, mostly. Um, I got baking cocoa for a pie recipe for Thanksgiving. These are, okay, these are delicious if you're new to the Andes Mint world. I grew up eating these um, in my family at Christmas. We had this little like red sleigh and we'd always put um, Andy's mints in them. So I always pick up a box when I see them um, at Christmas time. So I got two boxes, one for myself to snack on during the holiday season and then one to, um, to bring back to when I visit for Christmas because we always do like a little bingo prize game session. So I thought that would be a fun little prize to include. I needed some Italian seasoning for a recipe. I got two of these little <laughs> wellness shots. <laughs> um, these are, they're yummy. I wouldn't take them if they um, weren't also tasty. I, again, like I said in a previous video, I don't like highly believe in the effectiveness of these little juice shots. I don't think they're going to make me a healthier person, but I like them and they are like a good little like burst of um, like vitamin C and whatnot. So I got those. <laughs> um, and then for Thanksgiving, I picked up this meat and cheese little appetizer tray. Um, it's got, um, sorry, there's a glare. I got salami, prosciutto and pepperoni wrapped mozzarella cheese and they're already like pre-rolled. So literally all you do is put it on a plate. So that will come in handy. Okay, so that is everything from Aldi. Now for the Trader Joe's items, I got two things of meat. I got a ground turkey breast for a recipe. My parents are gonna come in town for a couple of days. Um, so there's a couple of um, recipes that I'll be making. So there's a ground turkey breast for that. And then for tonight's dinner, um, some ground beef. Um, for the sweet potato casserole, I have some pecan pieces. 
Um, oh, I also picked up sour cream from Aldi. That is for the mashed potatoes because I like to make them really uh, indulgent, if you will. Lots of butter, sour cream, milk. Mm, yum. Um, for my mom, who doesn't have dairy, I got a coconut creamer for the coffees. This tangerine juice is so freaking good. I pick this up from Trader Joe's all of the time. It is just like the most flavorful juice. I like it way better than orange juice. It does taste different. And if you are a mimosa person, this is perfect for mimosas. Love that so much. Um, these, these plantain crisps, um, these are relatively new, I believe. And I've tried that one other bag and I devoured these. These are so good. They do have a couple of other types of plantain chips from Trader Joe's, but I like these the best. They have like a, like a thicker kind that is um, unsweetened and unsalted, I believe, or just salted. And then they have a sweet one, but these are really thin and salty. I really like these a lot. Super good. The or some organic baby spinach just to have on hand. And my mom eats a lot of spinach. My mom eats very healthily. Um, a lot more healthy than me anyway. <laughs> and then what else did I get? Okay, these mini chocolate mousse presents. So um, what I'm realizing is Trader Joe's introduces these like mousse cakes um, each season. And they just change like the shape of them. These are so good. The first time I actually tried them was the pumpkins. I love these. I put them in the fridge. These are really good. Um, might do a little taste test after this and I will try one of the presents on taste test. Um, they had, of course, the milk chocolate peanut butter cups. Grab one of those. I might keep these in the freezer. People say that that is a delicious way of um, eating these is when they're a little bit frozen. I got some tomato paste. I am so glad that people have started making tomato paste in a little squeezy tube. <laughs> it is everything. So I just need that for a recipe and that will keep a lot better than the little canned version. Sea salt butterscotch caramels for um, part of a gift. I have had these before. I almost picked up two bags to keep one for myself, but I did not. Um, these are really really good. They're not too sweet. Um, the chocolate is like the perfect amount of like strong chocolate for me anyways, because I don't really like super dark chocolate, but if it was super sweet milky chocolate, I think it'd be too sweet. So I just, I just think those are excellent. Then a little holiday item, the peppermint creams, dark chocolate covered peppermint creams. I've never tried these. So um, if I do a little taste test here, I will definitely try one of these. They just looked festive and fun and I really like peppermint patties. So I thought maybe this is like a little, little dupe of those. So I thought they looked really good. Um, a pie crust for that holiday pie. These are, okay, so cute. I just saw these sitting there. I didn't know that they did these, um, these mini felted wool garlands. Um, and I am in the process of getting some Christmas decor. We're hosting um, Christmas a little bit on the earlier end for one side of the family. And I just thought these were so cute and they were $4 for the six foot long garland. So I got three of them. I just think these are so stinking cute. I'll put those around the house or maybe on the tree. We'll see. And then the last thing, I can't believe that I am this person now. Um, but here we are. <laughs> I got an advent calendar for the cats. Okay, okay, but I didn't get two. All right, we have two cats, but I only got one. I figured chances are there's more than one treat in each um, little slot. So I was like, okay, they can share. But you know, I just wanted to, I just wanted to treat my, my, little, my little babies. So I did pick up that. Oh, not the last thing I lied. The sparkling pomegranate punch is the um, actual last thing that I picked up and I this is a seasonal item it's new um, I just really want to try it. it looked really good so we'll see how that tastes as well but that is everything from the haul um, most of the stuff again is for Thanksgiving um, or for my parents visit but a couple of little goodies in there as well Okay, for the first taste test item, I thought I would go ahead and show you what this 
chopped salad looks like. So this is the Chipotle Ranch. There is some tortilla strips, I guess you call them, some cheese, and then the lettuce mixture is like cabbage and kale and yeah, so like the heartier stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this a little stir and I'll try to describe what it tastes like. Okay, try very hard to ignore my hair, please, okay? I need to wash it, but we are going to the climbing gym later. So no sense in washing it now. But anyways, um, so here is the bite I'm gonna try. So yeah, I've got a little bit of everything, the cheese, the tortilla strips, and the dressing and all that, so. Mm. Yeah, so I really like these salads because for me, I like the the texture of a little bit more crunch in a salad and you get that from the heartiness of the um, green choices that they have in there, but also from the tortilla strips. Um, the dressing is, it's not spicy, um, it is Chipotle Ranch, but I wouldn't describe it as spicy. I mean, maybe if you were super sensitive, you could like sense a little bit of a kick, but it's not really spicy. Um, or it's a little bit tangy. Um, yeah, the whole thing is just really good. You don't really taste the cheese, really. There wasn't, like, a ton of cheese, so, I mean, I feel like if you, yeah, if you didn't eat cheese for whatever reason, like, you probably wouldn't even miss it, but, yeah, um, I would I would recommend this one. The next thing I'm going to be trying are these plantain crisps. It is pretty annoying because they don't, uh, they don't put a resealable strip on there, um, so that's kind of annoying to me, but I do have clips I can use, but anyway. Um, so the only ingredients in here are plantains, palm olin, which I can only assume is palm oil, and salt. Um, this is what they look like. They don't give you a whole ton. I like this. So they're pretty thin. Mm. I think these are so good. These really like satisfy that like salt craving that one gets. They're pretty salty. They're really crispy. They like crisp nicely when you chew them, you know, like they're not like like a hard, I feel like some plantain chips I've had can feel kind of like hard. These don't, they like crisp really nicely. And a great flavor. These are perfect. I like them as is. I mean, I'm sure you could dip them if you wanted to, but I like them plain. I'll probably put down a lot of these ones. All right, the next item I'm gonna try is a drink. It's the sparkling pomegranate punch beverage. Here are the nutrition facts and ingredient list. It does have um, some sugar in it, but it is all sugar from juice. So, you know naturally occurring sugars, if you will. This runs for $3.99 for a four pack, so not the cheapest, but we'll see. I'm, I grabbed a, uh, a clear glass so you can see what it looks like. Okay, absolutely beautiful color. Super fizzy. Smells good. Yeah, this is interesting. It's, it's different than I thought it would be. It's it's less flavorful than I thought. Actually, there's not there's not a whole lot of punch going on there. Like, I mean, it's literally a pomegranate punch, right? And I do not feel punched. Um, it almost kind of tastes like like you were drinking like a strong juice, and you had a bunch of ice in it, and then you just kind of like let it sit for a while. It tastes watered down to me. Like it's not unpleasant. Almost tastes like a melted popsicle of some kind, but like not too sweet. I don't know. Not giving a very good description, but yeah, it's not. It's not my favorite. It's it's pleasant enough, but I definitely think it could be more flavorful, especially because I was really expecting this to be oversweet actually, because I've tried the watermelon version and I've tried the strawberry version, and both of those were like super sweet. So maybe I was just going into it with that expectation. Um, but yeah, pretty pretty mild in the pomegranate flavor, so okay. Probably wouldn't buy these again. 
uh, keeping on the drink train. This wasn't actually in the haul, but I picked this up last week. This is the um, La Coulomb Coffee um, Draft Latte Peppermint Mocha. So it is a foamy, nitrous infused milk and cold brew. So I feel like this is really caffeinated. Yeah, this whole thing equals two and one quarter cups of caffeine, like coffee. So that's a lot actually. So yeah, but I thought because it was a Christmas flavor, I'd try it. I'd try it. I've never tried this brand before, but a lot of people seem to like it. Smells good. Okay, so it's definitely milky looking and it's got that foaming quality to it, which is interesting. If you kind of let it sit for a second, it's not as like, almost like carbonated, I guess. It's not, it's not carbonated. Yeah. So the, the kind of like foamy nature kind of settles down a bit. At first I was like, is this carbonated coffee? And got like really weirded out, but that settled down. Um, it's pretty heavy um, on the peppermint flavor. Um, slightly less chocolatey than peppermint for sure. It's pretty good. I mean, it's still a canned coffee, so how good is it gonna be? But it's pretty good. It's sweet. It's not like sickly sweet though. It's a good amount of sweet and for my taste buds anyways. Um, I feel like this would be really nice for like a, a road trip or if you're just craving a like a kind of sweet afternoon pick-me-up. It's really nice and because of the peppermint, it feels very festive. So yeah, it's good. Speaking of festive, okay, I'm gonna try these dark chocolate covered peppermint creams. So these took me by surprise because I fully expected them to be like this, right? With the, the red and white peppermint crispies on top. I opened the package. They're purple. <laughs> I'm sorry. Why are they purple? So that was interesting. I'm not sure what's going on there. They are in fact like bright purple. So that happened. All right, so I've just cut one in half. I mean, not well, that's what it looks like. It definitely looks like a peppermint patty and smells like a peppermint patty. Mm. Okay, I love these. Mm. These have a little bit more chew than a traditional peppermint patty. I know they're not peppermint patties. They're not trying to be peppermint patties, but that's what they reminded me of. So that's kind of what I'm comparing it to my, in my head. And there's definitely like a bit more of like a chew to it. Um, a soft chew, but a chew. Um, like it's like the cream part is thicker. I was worried that the crispies on top would be too hard. I don't think so. Um, at least for my teeth, they. I barely notice that it's super hard candies. Yeah, these are really refreshing. It's got that like really bright peppermint flavor. The dark chocolate really goes well with it. I feel like this is exactly what I'd want to be eating, you know, as like a after dinner kind of treat. Okay, so the last item I'll be trying are these mini mousse presents this time. Um, they are rich chocolate cakes layered with silky mousse. Right, let me cut into one of these. I'm just gonna have like a half for now. I just tried that peppermint patty. Okay, here's what it looks like on the inside. Yum. So that's like the moussey part and then, oh, chocolate. That's the moussey part and then there's the cake. Mm. This is so good. Mm. Like, it's just the perfect amount of chocolate. If you, I mean, if it is chocolatey. So if you're not a chocolate lover, I mean, don't have anything to do with this, but so good. There's a little bit more mousse than there is cake. And so it just kind of like melts in your mouth. It is rich, literally no judgment. You go for it, sit and have a whole package if you feel like you need to do that. But for me, I just think they satisfy that like chocolate craving I have. Um, 
pretty easily with just the one and I, they're so good. Get these. Okay, so those are all the items from the taste test and therefore the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching and come back next week for another one. Bye!